Do not despair of our present difficulties. We believe always in the promise and greatness of America because nothing is inevitable here. Americans never quit. We never surrender. We never hide from history. We make history. Farewell, fellow Americans. God bless you, and God bless America. Tonight, we are hearing Senator John McCain's final words before his passing. And as you heard just there, that was his former campaign manager pretty choked up while reading that statement. We're also learning new details about the funeral arrangements for the late senator. This as his fellow lawmakers and President Trump are handling his death much differently. Scott Swan joins us here to explain. Scott? Yeah, and President Trump finally issued a statement about the senator an hour ago saying he respects John McCain's service to our country. Now, these are the first comments the president made about his fellow Republican, who often disagreed with his policies. The flag at the U.S. Capitol has been flying at half-staff, honoring Senator McCain. Now, for most of the day, the White House was flying the flag at full staff after lowering it over the weekend. But about an hour ago, President Trump ordered that flag lowered to half-staff again. Earlier today, the president refused to answer any questions about the senator. Mr. President, any thoughts on John McCain? Mr. President, any thoughts on John McCain, sir? So here is what we have learned about the services that will take place this week. The body of the decorated Vietnam War vet and former POW will lie in state Wednesday at the Arizona Capitol. Thursday, his body will head to the North Phoenix Baptist Church for a private memorial. On Friday, Senator McCain will lie in state at the U.S. Capitol in Washington for a ceremony and public viewing. Saturday, there's another private memorial service. Former Presidents Barack Obama and George W. Bush are expected to give eulogies. Sunday, he'll be laid to rest at the U.S. Naval Academy Cemetery in Maryland. A wooden spike marks his final resting place. You see it here. He'll be buried next to a lifelong friend. Senator McCain chose this out-of-the-way spot instead of the grandeur found at Arlington National Cemetery. Back here in Indiana, Governor Eric Holcomb has directed all flags to be flown at half-staff until Sunday evening. John McCain's campaign chairman confirmed late today that President Trump will not attend Senator McCain's funeral on Sunday. Back to you. All right. Thank you, Scott. Also today, we're hearing from a Hoosier who knew the senator and worked with him during the 2008 presidential run. You know, Senator McCain was always trying to find compromise and solve big problems. He didn't believe that you were elected to just continue your political career. He believed you were elected to do big things. That's Jen Hollowell, and we'll hear much more about her, from her, about the life of Senator McCain, coming up a little bit later in this newscast at 545.